Hi, I'm Robert Picard and you're watching Visit Fort McMurray. A couple weeks ago, we did a profile on a local artist named Russell Thomas. Basically, it was just Russell talking about his experience, different paintings that he made. We also sat down with Russell and his wife Heather to talk about their lives in Fort McMurray. Now, I'm sad and also happy for Russell because he's going to be leaving, he's moving to Okotoks, but I got to sit down with Heather for the first time and talk about her business and talk about the future of Burson Studios and the next evolution of their lives as they move to Okotoks. I wanted to do this uh, special visit for McMurray episode because you've had a big impact on my life and we first met um, a few years back but it was mostly significant at the at the We Love All Sounds 70s 80s 2000 dance party where we commissioned you to do a live painting of Dr. Carl Clark and um, that was sort of a big deal because that was our first fundraiser yeah. but a major changing point in my life where I went from just living in Fort McMurray to actually being part of Fort McMurray and the whole I Love Oil Sands cause. You've just had such a part of this community that I thought mm -hmm. I'd like to talk to you, both of you, mm -hmm. about um, uh, what this place means to you and how it brought you to the next journey, but the next step in your journey. Well, you talk about the um, that night of painting Carl Clark. It showed me the potential that the painting could have for helping a cause. I can't remember what those the paintings sold for a lot of money. Ten thousand. Yeah, it was a, it's an enormous amount of money, and so I was still trying to figure out what I was doing philanthropically, and that night was a major contributor to where where, where I am today. Heather, can you tell me a little bit about how you know, the oil sands and Fort McMurray have affected you and brought you opportunities, but not just about financial. Mm -hmm. Like I think you've helped a lot of people spiritually as well, and, yeah. and a lot of people in Fort McMurray I think needed that. When I came here, I came here to be a health inspector. So the oil sands brought me to be a health inspector, not the oil sands specifically, but the health region. And after five or so years, I started not feeling well, and then my journey had to evolve to finding a new job or new career, which led me to follow what my heart is asking me to do, which is to help people. Hands-on healing and being able to contribute in a non-oil sands capacity to people who work in the oil sands and their families has been uh, extremely heart-filling and humbling experience. Um, I've been doing this work for 12 years and so I've met a lot of people, I've helped a lot of people and I continue to hear about those ripples as, as I go out in the community and meet with, with friends as well as clients. It just goes to show you that the, the oil sands is so much more complex and layered. Yeah. So where are you guys going now and what is your next journey? We are taking birdsong studio and healing center to Okotoks and sharing uh, what we do not just here in Fort McMurray we're going to continue to have a presence here but our physical location is transferring to the south end of Alberta. Russell out of all the paintings you've done and you've done a lot which stands out the most for you? Robin Williams when he died was a significant one for me mm -hmm. Uh, it, was, it was significant for the community as well because all of a sudden there was this conversation that came out of that of mental health. Mm -hmm. And of course we know what mental health uh, has meant to this community post-fire. You know, the painting I did of you and your two dogs, that's a mat. it was probably my biggest painting. And of course you recently lost that dog and, um, and I'm sure that painting has even more meaning to you now. I have to move it every time I walk down the stairs. It's <laughs> he's looking yeah. right in the face. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm I'm okay with that. I've I've had the honor of painting a lot of uh, pets that have passed away and people, and every one of them is deeply meaningful. My Pascal, who was the funniest guy in the world, his son commissioned me, Mike Jr., to paint his dad, and it, and the painting hung on his hospital uh, room wall until the day that he died. Uh, to painting the coach of the humble Broncos as, as a favor for a good friend of mine here in Fort McMurray and hearing that that's that his wife says hello to him and talks to it every day. You, you, you can't put a price on those kind of things. When you painted Darby Allen and it went as viral as it did, yeah. what was that like being the center um, in a difficult time but at the same time as a beacon of hope? I think that's a really good example of, I didn't expect that to happen. Darby meant so much to all of us at that time. And the painting became somewhat of a conduit, a connector to how people were feeling about that role that he played and the videos he'd make every night. 
that we all anticipated and, and, and were really deeply important to us. And I just happened to be a vessel for that. I can't explain why, why it happened the way that it did, but that painting, I often tell people, was seen by about 100 million people in those crazy days because it ended up on the national news and then the press all over the world. And I feel I was just a vessel more than anything else. It's not about the painting, it's about the common experience we all okay. have. Well, I want to thank both of you personally. Um, you've had an impact on my life. Uh, you're going to be missed. I'm happy for you. Sad you're going, but I think that you're, it's a very, very special story to our region. Our story, studio will always be open. The studio is always open, open doors all the time. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Robbie. Thank you. Thank you for watching Visit Fort McMurray. I just want to take a second and wish Russell and Heather good fortune. It's been an absolute privilege doing business with them. I'm sure we will continue to do some stuff together. But uh, Fort McMurray has opened up so much opportunity for so many people, artists, singers, uh, people that can you know, come here with very little and leave, not just with financial success, with fulfillment as well. Thank you very much for watching.